I'm Marisa Vedra with today's Mental Health Minute, and this one is for people who are dealing with real trauma. If that's you, you know what that is. You can define it for yourself. And there's often a deep, dark feeling that comes with it. Today, we're talking about how to identify that feeling and heal from it. We're doing that with Mark Chaps Schimmelfenig. He is with Rush Medical Center. So define this feeling for us. It can often manifest itself as feeling like a hole, a space, a void. It can also feel like a weight. Often it's something that's very difficult to enunciate. The first part in healing moral injury is being able to name it, and I call it name it to tame it. So how do we name it to tame it? First of all, we all have a moral compass. Basically, it's right from wrong. If you have perpetrated a trauma, if you have observed a trauma, failed to prevent a trauma, or even heard about traumatic events, that can chip and shatter that compass. You need to be, I, I, be able to identify what does that mean for me, and then normalize it to the point where I, you're able to say, I want to fix it. Who do we take that to to start healing? Well, uh, you could take it to a chaplain like myself. You can engage in therapy for, for the trauma. I've been doing this for nine years at the Rush uh, Road Home Program, and um, it's a process, but there is help, and it, you can heal. And when you heal that hole, you're healing a wound of the spirit. And it's the last part of being able to heal holistically. So consider that your first move. From there, once you've named the problem, you can talk to a therapist, a chaplain, a clergy member, whoever you're looking to for further guidance to heal. So remember to name it, to tame it, the next time you take a minute for your mental health. And for more quick ways to boost your spirit, head to cbschicago.com slash mental health minute. You'll find all of our helpful ideas to de-stress and have a much better day.